How long could a late WW2-era battleship last under sustained ship of the line cannon fire? In an alternate world of magic, a battleship similar in design to the Bismarck is stopped in the middle of the ocean. It was built by a society of Earth humans who moved to this world. All other nations' technology is approximately from the medieval Renaissance era aided with a slight bit of magic. Now, back to the ship. The massive battleship was dead in the water, probably because it was undergoing maintenance for its steam turbines. On the horizon, a fleet of ships of the line appeared. The fleet noticed the massive grey silhouette in the distance and immediately moved to investigate it. The commander of this fleet saw the other world as battleship and thought to himself, I want to conquer that. Obviously, the battleship crew had also spotted the fleet of ships of the line. As there was a huge number of them, the captain, not wanting to waste ammunition, didn't immediately obliterate them. Instead, he gave instructions to his crew to only fire at the ships attempting to board them. The fleet of ships of the line realized death comes for whoever comes close to the massive steel whale. Instead, they decided to sink it from afar. The fleet consists of about 700 vessels, they surround the battleship and broadside it until they run out of ammunition. The strategy of the ships of the line is similar to the land-based musketeers, i.e. once the first group of ships of the line run out of cannonballs, they are replaced by the next batch of ships and so on. The battleship still won't budge, not until its steam turbines are repaired which would probably take several more hours or perhaps even a day. The problem is, the real battleship Bismarck also had impenetrable armor. It was still sunk by continued shelling from the battleship Rodney, battleship King George V, and torpedoes from multiple destroyers. Some shells, the Rodneys, did penetrate but most ricocheted off the hull. These ricochets made the hull red hot according to some sources. I was wondering if maybe 24 hours plus of constant cannon fire will do the same. Imagine for a moment finding a man in full plate armor, a veritable knight encased head to toe in steel, and ordering a few dozen men to attack him with aluminum baseball bats. What you'd end up with after a couple of hours, assuming the knight just stands there, is a whole lot of exhausted men with bent baseball bats, and a knight whose worst problem is the headache he has from all that ringing. Of course, you could order your men to aim at joints or the neck to damage the knight by pushing his armor against his flesh, but if the knight takes any minimal efforts to defend himself, that's not going to be effective. This is the situation you'd have with a 17th century ship of the line attacking a World War II era battleship. The iron balls of cannon shot are too soft to penetrate steel of any reasonable thickness. It could aim for weak spots, concentrate all its fire at one single point in the hopes of creating a big enough dent to split a welded seam, lob shot down onto the upper deck where the plating is thinnest trying to damage crew, infrastructure, or maybe hit a magazine. But again, if the battleship does any minimal thing to defend itself, getting close enough to do precision firing would be extremely problematic. Honestly, all a battleship of that class needs to do is get its engines running. Even at quarter speed it can outmaneuver any ship of the line, so it could chase them down and run them over, no shots fired. I don't even want to dignify that act with the term ramming, because a battleship would tear through a wooden warship and crush it like a bug. If your battleship crew had any sense, they would put cotton in their ears, raise enough of a defense to keep the wooden ships at bay, and focus all their efforts at regaining mobility. And when that's done, the fat lady sings.